Hey guys, so I'm going to be doing a Snapchat slash Instagram story Q&A. So leave me some questions in video form so I can show you in the video. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing a Snapchat Q&A. I asked you guys on Snapchat and also Instagram story to send me some video clips of you asking me some questions so that I can feature you guys and then answer them. If you like Snapchat Q&As, make sure you follow me on both platforms so that you never miss out. So. Let's get into it. Snapchat Q&As honestly just make me so nervous because like I don't know what to expect so I have to answer the question right on spot which I guess is what you're supposed to do when you do Snapchat Q&As or just like when you do Q&As in general but like I just get nervous. First question. Amanda, I was wondering if you've ever taken the Myers-Briggs personality test and if you have, what are your letters? I literally took it like three or four times and out of three times I got INFJ which is a quick Google search tells me. So INFJ personality is the advocate. It's a lot of vegans actually in this community and people like YouTubers and a lot of you guys who watch this and stuff are INFJs for some reason, which kind of makes sense because we advocate for compassion and veganism. The INFJ personality type is very rare, making up less than 1% of the population, but they nonetheless leave their mark on the world. As diplomats, they have an inborn sense of idealism and morality, but what sets them apart is the accompanying judging traits. INFJs are not ideal dreamers, but people capable of taking concrete steps to realize their goals and make a lasting positive impact. That makes sense. If you're a vegan and you're trying to spread the message all the time and you're an INFJ, don't be surprised. Hey Amanda. What was your favorite childhood memory? We had this place called the Second Backyard and it's basically just like this nature reserve right outside of our backyard. And my favorite childhood memory, it wasn't like a specific thing, but I just always remember wanting to go play outside over there, climb trees, there were like bushes, trees, random stuff. Um, it was really a place that was a reserve for like foxes and squirrels and stuff just like a little nature place and it was always fun going there with my friends and my cousins and my siblings like we'd always just like go back there and hang out and that was a lot of fun i just always loved playing outside would you rather smoke weed or drink alcohol would you rather smoke weed or drink alcohol 100 percent of the time i'd rather smoke weed i do not like the way alcohol makes me feel i mean a glass or two of wine i do enjoy but going out and drinking, getting drunk and stuff, I just don't like that feeling. Drinking is just, it's not me. Hi, my name's Katie. Um, and with Beauty and the Beast just coming out, I was wondering, what's your favorite Disney princess? What are your top three places you'd like to visit before you die? I just watched Beauty and the Beast yesterday. It was so good. I was like reliving a childhood memory because I grew up watching the VHS Disney movies. Like we have a huge collection of all the VHS Disney movies, but I already knew what to expect. It was just like a whole visual experience for me. So it was great. Disney princesses, I really loved Princess Jasmine probably because she's like gorgeous and also like extremely independent and she like wanted to do her own thing. I also liked Pocahontas because she was always playing and running outside. Three places that I want to visit before I die. Oh my gosh, there's so many places. But let me just think from the top of my head. Indonesia, Bali. I want to do the Mount Everest, not like Mount Everest would be cool, but I'd probably die before I got to the top of that thing. But I want to do the Everest base camp hike trek thing, which I know isn't like an exact place, but I really want to go there. Third place, oh my gosh, I just like feel like I'm always on the spot. Third place. Somewhere that will absolutely take my breath away and like somewhere that is so beautiful, it would literally bring me to my knees in awe of humankind and God, the universe, the creator of this world. If you guys have a place that could fit that description, leave it in the comments below. Hey girl, have you ever read Harry Potter? And if yes, who is your favorite character and why? Love you. I read all the books when I was in like elementary school or middle school or something. And my favorite character is probably Hermione because she's like super smart and I've always just admired people who were very brilliant. If you eat hummus without oil, tahini has actually oil in it, so it is not oil free. Was that a question or like a statement? It is technically oil free because it does not use like the refined oil. Tahini does have oil in it just like peanuts have oil in it, just like 
all foods have oil within them. I'm not trying to add refined olive oil or refined coconut oil or like sesame oil or anything. I just like want the whole food. And the tahini, it does separate into like the oil and the fibers and the water content and stuff. But when you mix it all together, it's like all the whole food together. I don't know if that makes sense, but yeah. If you could eat one fruit and one vegetable for the rest of your life, what would they be? I love your videos. They're so fun to watch. Oh, thank you. I would probably eat bananas because there's so many things you can do with banana. Oh, uh, wait. I want to say mango, but mango gives me like a digestive problem if I eat too many of them in one sitting. But if I didn't have that problem, it would be mangoes. And then vegetable, maybe carrots, because I eat carrots so much. I don't know, carrots, broccoli, spinach, one of those. My question is, are you coming to Europe anytime soon because if you're coming to Paris, I'd love to go everywhere. I just don't know about when because school, because money, because all of that good stuff. So um, when I do, you guys will be sure to know. But give me a couple years, guys. Give me a couple years. I don't go traveling a lot like most vegan YouTubers or just like most YouTubers in general. Would you rather not be seen by people or not be heard by people? Oh, I'm from Germany. Would I rather not be seen by people or not be heard by people? I would rather not be seen by people. It sucks to not be heard. It sucks when people don't hear your questions or when they don't even know that you're there. At least if you're not seen by people, you can sneak up on them and be like, listen. And then they have to hear you because they don't know where you are. But then if you're not heard by people, they can see you, but they're like, uh, okay, I'm just gonna go and move on with my life. My answer is probably based on personal experience where like people don't really listen to me, so. Yeah. What's the most beautiful place you've ever been? The Grand Canyon. I went on the skywalk and it was crazy just like walking out there and looking down and seeing just like how beautiful all the curves of the earth was carved into how like deep down that the whole valley goes. It like made me feel so small and like so minuscule compared to nature. But I think the most beautiful place that I've been to isn't even one place. It's just like when I look up at the sky and there's like a beautiful sunset or a beautiful sunrise, the sky is like this nice purple pink color. And you know what? They're always different colors. And like the, when the clouds are like nice and round, you see the rays of light coming through. To me, that's one of the most beautiful things in the world. And I don't need to go to a specific place to see it. I just have to like look up at the sky and appreciate that it's there. And every time I see a beautiful, Guy, I always just like stop and I'm like wow that's gorgeous that's nature how crazy is it that our eyes and our brains find that so aesthetically pleasing hey Amanda I was just wondering what your type of music interest was or like some favorite songs you have right now also what are you studying at school I swear I get this question all the time and you guys it's in my description FAQ what are you studying nutrition and dietetics and as for music I don't even know what the genre is called R&B slash electronic mixture I don't know how to say it you can see all the songs that I listen to in the Spotify playlist that I always link in my description below. Ever since I was younger, I've always loved rap, R&B, hip hop, and I really liked oldies, like music from the 60s and 70s. I was never like a huge pop person um, or country person. That's the kind of music I listen to. So if you could trade lives with one other person for an entire day, who would it be? I'd probably try to trade lives with my mom just to see what her life is like. And I feel like when I do that, slash if I do that, I mean, I already appreciate my mom so much. I feel like I would have a newfound sense of appreciation and respect for her. Um, same with my dad. I think it'd be so interesting if I could trade lives with my dad for a day and be like, wow, so like this is what you have to do and deal with all the time. As long as it's just for a day, like I would not want to trade lives with them forever because honestly, if I traded lives with my parents and had to deal with me, I would go insane. Do you have any tips for improving your immune system? Because even though I eat really, really, really healthy, I constantly get sick and it really sucks. If you're already eating a whole foods, plant-based diet full of lots of fruits, lots of colorful vegetables, if you're already drinking tea and drinking lots and lots of water, definitely focus on sleep that is a huge thing like i know that when i don't get enough sleep and when i don't eat enough that's when i get sick the last couple times i've gotten sick the days before i didn't eat enough and i didn't sleep enough i probably like averaged maybe six hours for like the two days before i i had gotten sick and when i slept more then i got better also you want to check your stress levels because stress can suppress your immune system Boatload. Hey Amanda, so I recently got a 
job, yeah, you got me, but I have to meal prep now, so do you have any good ideas? Yeah, so you basically just bring whatever you'd normally bring to school or work. I mean, you're going to work, so that answers that question. I used to bring Tupperwares of like rice with vegetables and beans or potatoes with vegetables and beans. Literally, it's just like that combination. You just like switch up the type of vegetables, the different type of sauces, different type of beans. There are so many vegan meal prep YouTube videos available for all of us to go check out. And if you really, really, really want to eat well and do well at work, then you would just meal prep and do well. I don't even understand myself sometimes. Do you have any tips for stopping hair loss on a vegan diet? Because I've been struggling with it a lot and I don't know if you have any tips, but please. Hair loss, vegan diet. The first thing, you need to check your macro and micronutrients. Are you eating enough calories throughout the day? I have encountered so many people who claim to have lost so much hair going vegan and when they count their calories, they're like, oh my gosh, I'm only eating like 1600 calories a day. And it's really hard for newer vegans to get the right amount of food because vegan food, plant food in general, is just so calorically dilute that people don't realize that they need to be eating more bites of food in order to get the same amount of calories. And if your body isn't getting enough calories, it will start to shave off the areas that it sends energy to in order to stay alive. So the first thing that normally goes for people is like their period, their hair starts falling out, their nails start getting weaker because you don't really Really need those things to survive but you do need your heart to be beating you do need your lungs to breathe you do need your body to like move your extremities and your legs and stuff so definitely make sure you are eating enough calories and then make sure that your calcium and iron levels are enough I noticed that when I started to up my calcium intake my iron intake and my B vitamin intake my hair and my nails started growing so much faster when I started taking blackstrap molasses every day my hair was growing so much faster and you might also also want to check out biotin supplements. I know that you can get biotin from whole plant food sources, but biotin supplements definitely have helped me in my hair growth. Find sources of food that are high in things like biotin and iron and calcium and other B vitamins and try to up your intake of those whole foods so you can get those vitamins and you can get that healthy hair that you need. Do you like white potatoes, sweet potatoes, yams, or the Japanese sweet potatoes? I like Japanese sweet potatoes first, and then yams, and then regular potatoes. I just like have a crazy sweet tooth, so you know, I'm always going for the sweet. I want to know how to stay productive. The biggest thing for me to do is have a to-do list. Have a planner, always look at it when you think of things that you need to do. Write it down and put a little box next to it so that when you finish it, you can check off that box and it just feels so good. I am a self-proclaimed productivity addict. I'm addicted to being productive sometimes it's not the healthiest thing in the world but I know that without my planner I am just like I don't know what to do with my life a planner a to-do list make sure you keep it on you all the time and always reference back to it when you don't have anything to do or when you finished a task hey Amanda which is your favorite nose ring to wear I have a different nose ring on today than I normally do, which is like the round one. And then I also have like a clear filler thingy. My favorite one so far is the round one, but I'm kind of liking this one too. Both of those are from the Etsy store that is in my FAQ in the description below in case you guys are asking. Okay, so I split up this Q&A into two videos. The part two will be available in the description below when it is posted, but for now. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to me and turn on those notifications because YouTube's doing that thing where like it doesn't show you unless like you're subscribed to me or anybody else that you want to subscribe to. I hope you guys are having a wonderful morning, noon, day, or night wherever you are and I will see you next time. Bye!